What's up guys? This is Kensuke from KenskeArt.com, author and illustrator for manga for dummies and figure drawing for dummies. Today we're talking about line width and this is based on a previous video that I had done before about how to correct and edit your line width. And uh, you know, silly me, I forgot to record the whole screen. So I got some comments saying that they, didn't, they weren't quite sure which uh, icon I was clicking to the left and rightfully so. I do apologize about that and hopefully this time this video should clarify uh, which which icons you should be pressing. So without any further ado delay, here we go. The icon that you want to refer to is, if you look on this toolbar right here, is going to be on one, two, three, four, four from the bottom. You're going to click on it. It might appear differently depending on what preset you already have selected. Uh, but we want to focus right now on this icon right here. It's called Correct Line Width. And I, if I click on here, uh, it should pop up on the tool property. If you, if you don't have it, you can simply access it through your Windows option. You, and you show, it shows Correct Line Width. I have the option here to either thicken or narrow. And in each category, I can click uh, and drag how much I want to expand or contract my line width. So how does this come in handy? Uh, for example, here I have my uh, design for my t-shirt. You can access it through my Threadless account. And I'm not too happy with the line width. All the line width here is a little bit thicker and the main focus should be on this little young lady here, right here, eating her, enjoying her ramen noodles. And what this can do is, it comes in handy is I have this selected, make sure I got this layer selected. Click here, I want to expand it by 2.4. And as I click and draw, you see the green icon and the green uh, uh, color taking place and it expands it to my desired length. And if I look back, she pops out a little bit more, mission accomplished. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and expand here and uh, a little bit over here too. Let's get the, let's get her hair her in the picture. And it looks much better. I can see here better. And she stands out more from the background, mission accomplished. So there you have it, a very, very simple way of adjusting your line quality. Your, I'm sorry, your line width. And if you look on the other options, you can also see how to simplify your, um, your vector line, your connector vector line, redraw your vector line. Uh, the redraw the vector line comes in handy. It does take a little bit of a uh, practice because it has a little bit of its quirks. I will definitely uh, address that in my next video. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button so you won't miss a beat. Don't forget to check out my Threadless account. I have new designs of t-shirts. Uh, we're starting small. I have only two, two uh, designs right now, but they look pretty cool, so do check them out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until then, in Christ's peace, bye.